Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. I know, I haven't made one in a while. I want to catch you guys up on Auto Legends. I know, um, oh god, hold on. I know Racing Gamer Slovenia basically made a very similar video to what I'm making right now. I haven't watched his video yet. Uh, basically, what we're going over today is so far the biggest information dump that's publicly available on Auto Legends. Uh, I wanted to make this video just going over everything on the website. As you can see, I've even, like, I've messed with it. Y'all know me. But let's go through the website. Let's explain some things that maybe y'all didn't know. And just go from there because I think this could be a fun video. But first of all, oh, the website's even animated. I didn't actually notice that when I looked before. That's pretty sweet. I can't wait to get these Subarus. This RX-7 is insanely awesome. I can't wait to get these. Uh, they have their links, obviously, to the Discord, Instagram, stuff like that. So let's go through, because this website only launched, well, it's 1 a.m. now for me, but yesterday, and I was at work, so I couldn't really do anything. Unleash your inner car enthusiast. We are capturing the soul of car culture and building the most authentic, social, and competitive auto enthusiast experience. So, does it sound like uh, just company advertising jargon? Yes, but is it very true so far from what they've told us? Yes, honestly. it. They are shooting for the moon, and so far, in my mind, I think they're successful. So... Legends are born at the finish line. Community. So one thing we know so far is they're really shooting for a community aspect with this game. Now, while this is not a sequel per se to Racing Rivals or Nitto 1320 Legends or Challenge or Car Town or any of those games, there's a lot of those developers working on this game. So you know there's going to be great customization. There's going to be a lot of buildability with the cars and we're hoping tuning makes a comeback but as far as community is concerned <clears throat> we do know that they're going to be doing car meets in the game and then car meets should lead to racing in some way which awesome uh i can't wait to uh see how that's all going to go down and honestly you know we have the Porsche here with the RWB body kit. We have a 240SX. I don't know what's sitting next to this back here and back here. If I had to guess by this back roof line right here, this is like an 80s Toyota Supra maybe. Way back here, like a Mark III. I don't know what this is. I can't tell. It might just be like an RX-7 since we see a lot of RX-7s through the website. <clears throat> but the community is going to be absolutely awesome, I think. Uh, as far as customization, our customization options include genuine and licensed parts and accessories with high levels of realistic tuning and personalization. I'm excited to see how far they're willing to push that because I am so bored of tap, install, race. Like every game is just stage one, stage two, stage three. Oh, you got stage six? Here's part modifiers. That's just basically stage seven. Like, uh, yeah. CSR does an okay job of it. Nitro Nation does a good job. But realistically, all they're doing is just making way too many limited edition parts or hard to get parts. I want to see Nitto Legends levels of engine building. I'm really hoping for that. I have no idea if they're going to shoot for that. But at least something close like i would be happy in the middle of like racing rivals and legends find some happy medium in the middle there as far as engine building for like head-to-head -head setups and stuff like that or bracket racing they're gonna have that but i mean you can tell by this fitment i really hope that they are going for this level of customization as far as like the car meets I think it would be really cool if they did something in the game where it's uh, literally just car meets. Like, yes, it's a racing game through and through, but what if I just want to walk around and look at some damn cool cars? Like, not everybody in car culture is a racer. 
Not everybody wants to go and see how fast their car is. Some people build low and slow in camber and stance. I would love to see all of that captured in the game somehow. And I'm really hoping we get license plate customization back. If we all remember the Legends days of using, uh, what was that, Quick Memory Editor? Um, we'd use Quick Memory Editor to put custom characters basically on our plates that weren't supposed to be there, like dollar signs. Uh, that carried over a little bit from Challenge, because people figured out some number pads that uh, codes that you could put in. So like if you were sitting at your number pad, you could do like 10153, you would get TM on the side of your car like this, or like 0154, you would get this weird S. Actually, that one didn't work. 0152. 0152 did work. 0155? That one would break your car. 0156. I know that one works in Challenge. So does TM. Um, but that's the kind of stuff we did in Challenge. And then in Legends, we took it the step further with using a memory editor to edit the stuff and search memory. That was a lot of fun. I'm sure that's somehow going to make a comeback with license plates if they give us the ability, and I really hope they do. Uh, competition. We're building high-stakes live racing. We are building a high-stakes live racing game where every millisecond counts. So obviously, we know this is going to be drag racing. That's what most of these developers are known for. I wonder if down the road we can hope for different racing types. Nitro Nation did that. Now, for multiple years, Nitro Nation had the code in it. If you ever open up the APK and you have the knowledge of how to do that, if you ever open up Nitro Nation's APK from even two years ago, the Car X Drift Racing code is there because they used Car X uh, physics engine to make um, Nitro Nation drag racing. And then after the game being out for two or three years, they added drift racing to Nitro Nation. And turn it into Nitro Nation Drift and Drag. And at first I was like, wow, after so long they added drifting to a drag racing game? That's not going to work, but it does. And it's really cool. So I'm wondering if eventually within this competition thing, they'll branch out. And I think that would be a really cool thing to see. As far as what we're building... We are capturing the soul of car culture and building the most authentic, social, and competitive auto enthusiast experience. I really hope so. I have really high hopes for this game. As far as media, here's some screenshots from actually in-game. So this is pretty cool. You know, here's the chatting on the side. You can see they have... This is probably chatting with friends. Maybe this is some other form of instant messaging. Looks like, obviously, two currencies completely normal in today's gaming world to have multiple currencies i would have to guess that something with a money symbol is going to be just an in-game currency that you can earn and spend on things and then this is going to be hard currency as they call it which is going to be your real world money converted over to usable stuff in the game so we have the rx7 tier pretty much a lineup of rx7 so it's a mazda meet pretty cool I love the way the graphics look. You know, this is obviously people have figured it out by now. This is Sixth Street Bridge in Los Angeles. Really popular spot for people to do takeovers and stuff like that. Um, if we go to the next screenshot, this is the current garage. They're giving a shout out to uh, our man Brian, aka Sesco, aka Explosion. His team, 13 Devils. That's pretty sweet. As you can see, they're showing the car, they're showing the horsepower and torque. We don't know much as far as tuning or anything yet. Somebody cheating. <laughs> Y'all shouldn't have the same numbers here. Who's cheating? Who's taking my job? Anyway, and then from here, you can see 13 Devils racing against a Supra. Tire temperature gauge. Here's the RPM gauge. You might notice something with this. This ain't just a pedal. You know, all racing rivals and virtually every game out there right now is like, hold a button for your throttle. I'm so over it. This is a throttle slider. We have figured out that this is a throttle slider. How sweet is that? With a boost gauge, tells you your gear, what gear you're in, things like that. Here's your nitrous button. 
uh, chat button of some kind and then telling you your ET and basically to know where you are as far as on the track versus your opponent. Pretty cool. And I like that you can do backgrounds. Uh, I'm wondering if these are custom backgrounds. I'm guessing they will be. This is probably a team emblem, maybe some form of a rating system like level 12 or like street credit level 12 or something like that. Your icon. This has a different background. That's that's all really awesome. And this racing looks sweet. So, uh, Skyline versus Porsche. That's awesome. And this looks like a different environment that they might work towards. So, so far, this is the 6th Street Bridge. This looks like something during the day. That's awesome. And then we got the team of developers. These guys are all fantastic. So... We have decades of collective experience working at top gaming studios and previously built car racing franchises together that attracted 65 plus million players total. Uh, we're back to the release of the next big franchise. So obviously Riot Games, EA, Glue, CIE, C, CIE, I don't know, Apple, I don't recognize MZ, I don't know what that is, and Amazon. So right off the bat... We got our man Justin Choice. Anybody that's been in the Nitto world or Racing Rivals knows who this is. He brought us the very first 555R challenge uh, released by Choice Internet Enterprises. I'm guessing that's what CIE stands for. Uh, Choice Internet Enterprises 555R challenge way back in, I believe, 1998. So if there's a good veteran to have on the team for developers and stuff like that, or even just as the executive, it's Justin. This is great. And then company president is Peter Pham. Dinko, director of technology. Awesome dude. All of these guys, everybody, and girl, obviously. <laughs> everybody on this team is awesome. Uh, as far as updates, if you want to get in touch, obviously you can do it here. You can check Auto Legends on Facebook. You can email if you need to. And obviously there's all their tags over here. I highly recommend joining the Discord. The Discord is a blast. Ooh, I almost... That's not where I want to be. Um, <laughs> there we go. Let me just scroll up. <laughs> that was almost bad. <laughs> it was uh, some Discord things I shouldn't show. But uh, anyway, at least while recording in YouTube. So as you can see... Discord is popping. We got game talks, real car chat, meme chat, the AL official stuff that's going to be coming soon, where all the updates and stuff are going to be posted. It's a ton of fun. I can't wait for this game to come out. I'm so excited. I want to tune. I want to play. I want to race. I want to do what I should have done in Racing Rivals instead of wasting my time staring at computer monitors for hours on end every night just trying to force paint a car. Sorry about that. Actually, not really. A lot of you abuse the force paint, but I'm sorry about auto launch. Jesus Christ. Anyway, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are excited. Join the Discord. Just simply going to autolegends.com and click the Discord icon that takes you to Discord. Hit it up. Hit up the Facebook group. Don't question my cheat engine uses. You don't know what it was for. It was for need for speed. Anyway, um, <laughs> I just wanted unlimited money. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.